I think Africa has one history and one destiny. And I think I wanted for African youth to realize that our struggles are one. And so our solutions are one. My name is Aya Shebi. I am an African with a Tunisian passport. I think I've always been a rebel in my family. I used to organize hunger strikes when my dad didn't meet my demands. My dad has been always a feminist father, actually, because he installed in me the conviction that I can do what anybody can do in life. For me, that's what feminism is. Being free to be who you are, to commit to the liberation of African women and girls starts from being a woman. <laughs> How can I not be a feminist when every day is a reminder of my gender? Africa is not a country, but also it's not 55 countries. We have thousands of cultures, languages, indigenous religions, and so my struggle is not individual, but it's collective. The decision-making tables are very old and very male. So we are just reclaiming our power right now and saying that this system as it is doesn't work for us. And the only way to changing is to come together. I was called into the assignment of being the first ever African Union envoy in youth. It didn't really mean to have access. I still had to fight for my voice. I still had to fight for my space. I was excluded from bilateral meetings. I was put down from important negotiations and I started to introduce a concept I call intergenerational co-leadership. Nala Femme, Nala Feminist Collective, is an army of women who are taking charge, who are really leading from a place of transformation. We deserve to be in these rooms and these spaces. We operate right now in 40 countries across Africa. From activism to diplomacy, we have to not only try to change the system from outside, but actually go to the belly of the beast and try to shake things up in the corridors of power. And it's gone beyond my expectations when I started. Nala Fem has already been able, within just three years, to train over 50,000 young women to provide fellowship opportunities. As much as the system will tell you you cannot, you're not capable, you can. So I hope to see a world that respects African women to lead our continent to where she deserves to be.